Hey guys, this is the Prince of Macedon, and I'm doing a retro commentary video on the grassy flatlands played on winter settings. This is a Macedonia versus Greek battle. I'm the Macedonians, and my opponent, Jay Liano of the Gods of Total War Clan, is in charge of the Greek city states. As you can see from my army, I have a force of companion cavalry, royal pikemen, and archers. Let's look at the, uh, the massive Greek army of Jay Liano. On the front ranks, he has six upgraded armored hoplites. Just behind them are eight units of archers, all upgraded, of course. As you can see, there's tons of them. Um, and in the back ranks, he has three cavalry squadrons. One is a a general's bodyguard, and the other two are thinned out Greek cavalry. Yeah, this is a CWB battle fought with a 10k denari and um, this is a very massive army the reason I'm showing you this game is because this is one of my favorite Macedon versus Greek battles that I've had I keep like historical records so that I can improve my my war gaming so anyways he's completely destroying my archers here because he has eight and they're all heavily upgraded archers that he has. Anyways, I'm charging about down uh, both flanks here. He shifted his cavalry to his um, to his left, which is my right. And since that drew out his cavalry, I came in with my with my left wing cavalry as well, and I'm going to strike his archers. So here's the tactical situation on top. I brought one unit of archers. He brought in his armored hoplites pretty pretty quickly, so that kind of surprised me. But I got my cavalry out in time, and I'm gonna take um, some pot shots at his at his archers with my with some cavalry charges. Now he's going to engage my cavalry on the right wing. While all this is going on, I'm bringing out my my phalanx as well. On the left, I had I've had some good success against his archers. And I pulled some of his um, armored hoplites out of position. So I've, I've also routed his uh, cavalry. Thank goodness. So now I can deal. I can focus on his um, archers. So yeah, I'm doing some more um, cavalry strikes on his archers here. He's using his um, free armored hoplites to uh, to uh, deter my cavalry from getting free charges on his archers. But um. I could still do my, my attacks. If I had poor micro, I would I would be less effective at this. Um, because the armored hoplites are like so freaking upgraded, I think it's like gold gold. They're actually like like completely terrorizing my, my phalanx right now. So I need to get my cavalry free so they can help out my my phalanx. Because as Alexander said in uh, the movie, the phalanx is in jeopardy. Gotta use the uh, cavalry to support. So um, all along, I'm still chasing down his archers and doing hammer and anvil attacks right now. I've managed to route one of his um, armored hoplites here with my general unit. That was a relief. But down the center, you can see this big mess of armored hoplites. They're just tearing through my my pikemen here. Yeah, armored. Armored hoplites are a real pain in the ass. Okay, I'm doing some more um, hammer and anvil here on, on my, my right flanker. Routed that unit. Now I can focus on the center. But um, his archers are still in the battle. Some here, some here. Some of these are routing, but they'll probably come back into the fight. I'm gonna chase him down with some cavalry here. But um, I can't be using my cavalry for that purpose for the whole game, but that's. It's kind of a waste of their uh, their talents. So yeah, uh, in the center, my phalanx is in serious jeopardy here. And here's some poor micro by me. I'm just leaving my pikes on auto mode here for some reason. And I finally get them moving again. So let's see over there. I'm just maneuvering. Here, look at this the situation here. There's tons of armored hoplites still, and even worse, his um, archers are still firing. 
and that's that's destroyed my cavalry, making them less effective at hammer and anvil. So I'm going to do this um, clumsy hammer and anvil attack on his um, armored hoplites here, trying to um, to relieve the pressure on my phalanx. Well, I thought it was coming. Ah, oh, here it comes. I think I remember this battle a little incorrectly. There you go. That was my hammer and anvil, and that big squadron of companions they just routed, and that was a huge loss to my to my war effort. So now I'm down to uh, two Royal Pike squadrons and some and two no, I'm sorry, three severely depleted companion cavalry. And there I almost launched another um, clumsy hammer and anvil attack, but I I canceled my attack at the last second. His archer's still firing at me, and I finally ruined the last of his archers here. I lost another um, Royal Pike unit there. So now I'm down to two Royal Pikes, and I just lost another companion squadron there. My opponent's using his armor pop lights really well. It's a good situation. I've, I still got my archers who are completely depleted from the beginning of the battle. Because I only had four against his eight heavily upgraded archers. So now he has, what, one, two, three, four? Five? No, four armored hoplites? Versus my two real pikes. I'm launching some fire arrows right now. Hoping to do more like his men. But it doesn't hurt. I'm sorry, it doesn't help that my archers hardly have any upgrades. Actually, I don't think they have any upgrades, I don't think. And I just lost my other companion cavalry. So now I'm down to two Royal Pikes and three depleted uh, archers here. And my opponent is giving it to my Pikes right now. It looks like he's surrounded here. The enemy general is slain. Thankfully, I killed his general there, us. but it unfortunately, it didn't. It didn't cause a mass rout of his men. In fact, it didn't cause any of his men to rout. Like losing a general, it doesn't always mean disaster. It's kind of a random thing. But I think the Greeks and like other um, other disciplined factions have it, have the, the ability to fight on without their general. Usually, anyways. So here's the situation. I still have my archers firing. My pikes on this side are completely they're about to bite it here. And I got pikes here and it says the balance is even. Now it says they're losing. And my archers don't seem to be having that much of an effect on this um failing fight here. Should have upgraded my archers. This battle's really close though. So, um, he's really giving it to my phalanx right now. And I just lost my Royal Pikes. At this point, my opponent was so confident of victory that he said, he announced to me, good game already. I mean, I'm down to one Royal Pike and three depleted archers, and he has he still has four armored hoplites. So, saying good game was, I don't know, overconfident. But I didn't respond to his, um, to his um, good game comment, because in my opinion the game wasn't over yet. My Macedonians still have breath in them, so I fight for the last man. And not only that, so do my archers. And look at the situation now, how the fortunes of war had reversed. Now his men are routing, and at this point I said, good game indeed, to Jay Liano. Commanders like Alexander the Great, he utilized every asset of his army, like every element, the light infantry, the heavy infantry, the heavy cavalry, the light cavalry, they all played crucial roles in the battle. Anyways, very good game to Jay Liano. That was an average victory. I had 1,119 kills with 324 men remaining, and Jay Liano had 808 kills with 116 men.